Hey guys, how's it going? So today's video is going to be another budget gaming laptop showdown. So this time it's going to be MSI GF63 versus the ASUS TUF FX505 DT. Both these gaming laptops are consistently placed in Amazon's bestseller list. So I've already reviewed both ASUS TUF and the MSI GF63 gaming laptop on this channel. I will drop a link to both these reviews in the video description below. But for this video, we are going to take a look at MSI and ASUS battle it out in a 10 round match. So who will be declared the champion and who will go home a loser? Let's find out. Round 1 and it's all about the CPU. ASUS stuff comes with Ryzen 5 3550H processor while MSI GF63 it comes with Intel Core i5 9300H processor. So here is a chart comparing these two CPUs. Both CPUs have 4 cores and 8 threads, but Ryzen 5 is built on the newer 7 nanometer process technology, while Intel Core i5 it's built on the older 14 nanometer process technology. So the Intel CPU it does have a higher base clock frequency as well as the higher turbo clock frequency. It also has double the amount of cache and it supports faster DDR4 memory speed of 2666 MHz. So how does all this translate to the real world performance? So let's take a look at some CPU benchmarks to figure this out. So in the CPU single thread rating, Core i5 scores 2,354 points versus Ryzen 5, which scores 1,878 points. So that's a solid 25.3% performance lead by Intel in the single thread workload. This is not really surprising because Intel chip has got both the higher base clock frequency as well as higher turbo clock frequency. But what about the multi-threaded workloads? In overall CPU mark rating, Intel scores 9861 points while Ryzen scores 8437 points. So that's a 16.9% performance lead by Intel over AMD. That means AMD managed to narrow the gap in multi-threaded benchmarks, but it still came out behind Intel. So that's a clear knockout win by Intel CPU over AMD Ryzen. And uh, that means MSI GF63 laptop, it takes the first round and it now leads our score 1-0. Okay, moving to the second round, let's take a closer look at the GPU. So both these laptops, they are using the same identical GPU and it's the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650. This GPU is based on NVIDIA's Turing architecture and its CUDA cores offer concurrent execution of both floating point and integer operation. So this GPU, it has a whopping 896 CUDA cores, which is amazing for a laptop GPU. GTX 1650, it comes with four gigs of dedicated GDDR5 video RAM and it supports a bandwidth of 128 gigabits per second. So in simple English, this means improved performance both in gaming as well as compute heavy workloads, you know, stuff like video editing. So kudos to both ASUS and MSI for picking this GPU. And this round, it ends in a tie obviously because both laptops, they are using the same GPU. So our final score is still 1-0 after two rounds. Okay, now we are in round three. Let's talk about the display quality of the screen. So both laptops, they have 15.6 inch Full HD screen with a resolution of 1920 by 1080. Both screens use high quality IPS panel, but ASUS stuff laptop, it supports 120 Hertz refresh rate. So this high refresh rate, it's really good for gaming. And this is because it provides a smooth gameplay with minimal motion blur. Now both laptops, they have plenty bright screen. It's about 250 nits of brightness. And both these laptops, they support wide viewing angle. But I think I will have to give this round to ASUS tough gaming laptop. And the reason is that the 120 Hertz refresh rate, which ASUS has, that is an awesome gaming experience. And unfortunately, MSI doesn't have that screen. So this round, ASUS takes it. And now our final scores are one all tied after this round. Okay. So now we are in round four and it's all about the build quality. Now ASUS claims to have military grade durability on their laptop. It is certified to endure day to day use from accidental knocks to sudden drops on desk. It's made of polycarbonate, which is basically plastic and the polycarbonate it's tough and it's durable, but it's light in weight. And uh, this laptop weighs around 4.8 pounds. The top lid of the laptop has brushed metal finish with a radiating letter X 
giving it a very distinctive design. So the underside of the chassis, it has this hexagonal shaped reinforcement and this gives it additional, you know, structural strength. So overall, I think Asus Tough Laptop, it's a very sporty laptop. It has this rugged and macho look and I really like its design. MSI GF63 on the other hand, it looks more like a premium laptop than a traditional gaming laptop. So the top lid of this laptop, it's made of brushed aluminium and the rest of the body is made of hard polycarbonate. But thanks to its aluminium top, the laptop body feels very sturdy and solid in hands. The top of the lid, it has this bright red MSI Dragon logo and it's against this stealthy black brushed aluminium finish. And the bottom of the laptop, it has these intricately designed angles, bumps and slants. And uh, they not only make the laptop look cool, but they also help with thermals. So frankly speaking, it's very unfair of me to, you know, pick a winner in this round because I think both these laptops, they have very good build quality and both of them have a unique personality and it's a very subjective thing. So I'm not going to pick a winner in this round. And so our scores are still tied at one all after round four. Okay, now we are in round five and uh, we are looking at the RAM configuration on both these laptops. And we are also looking at the ease of upgrade. So both these laptops, they have eight gig of system RAM and uh, both these laptops have fortunately two DIMM slots that are available for memory upgrade. The eight gig RAM occupies the first DIMM slot while the second slot is empty. So that means you can add another eight gig RAM in the second slot, thereby doubling the system RAM from eight gig to 16 gig. Now this will also enable the dual channel memory configuration, which is about 10 to 15% faster than the single channel. Now, if you want to go crazy, you can add 16 gig RAM in each slot for a grand total of 32 gig system RAM. So I will throw a link in the description of the compatible memory modules that are going to work with both these laptops. So this round also ends in a tie because you know, both laptops have the same amount of memory and the same memory configuration. Boy, this contest is turning out to be too close to call, right? We are getting bunch of uh, ties. So the current score after round five is still reading one all. Okay, moving on to round six, which is about the SSD storage. So Asus Tough Laptop, it comes with 256 gig of PCIe NVMe SSD. While MSI GF63, it comes with 512 gig of PCIe NVMe SSD. So this is an easy win for MSI GF63. I think 256 gig of storage, it's too little for a gaming laptop. And this is because most modern games, they take up a lot of disk space. Luckily, both laptops, they have SATA 3 slot for adding a second SSD drive. So again, I will throw a link in the description of compatible SATA 3 SSDs that will work with both these laptops. So you can use that slot to expand the storage. So MSI wins this round and takes the lead again. After round six, score now reads 2-1 in favor of MSI. Okay, round seven, and it's all about the battery life. So MSI GF63, it's powered by a three cell battery with 51 watt hour capacity. And I was able to get about four and a half hours of battery life during continuous video playback at full screen. And when I turned off the Wi-Fi and you know, the screen brightness was set to 25%, the battery actually lasted for over five and a half hours. Now the laptop comes with 150 watt power brick, which is able to charge the battery from zero to full in about two hours. Asus Tough Gaming Laptop on the other hand, it woefully falls short in the battery life. It only gives about three and a half hours of battery life, you know, while doing typical web surfing with Wi-Fi turned on. And the main culprit is the 120 Hertz display, which drains the battery life very quickly. Asus actually expects that, you know, if you are going to be doing long gaming sessions, you most likely will be plugging in your laptop. That's probably their assumption. And so they don't even talk about battery life in their product description. So this is an easy win for MSI. MSI takes this round and now it has a commanding lead over Asus. Our final score after the end of this round is 3-1. Okay, now moving on to round eight and it's all about the keyboard. MSI GF63, it comes with an island style keyboard which is backlit enabled with monochromatic red color. The keyboard has 1.4 millimeter key travel and it offers 71 grams of actuation force which results in uniform feedback across all the main keys. So there are no numeric keys but there are arrow keys which come in full size and so I think that's good for gaming. Asus Tough's keyboard on the other hand, 
It's optimized for gaming. It has a fully backlit keyboard with various zones of RGB lighting that you can control from software. So that's definitely a bonus. And if you're an RGB lover, then you are going to love the, you know, the keyboard on Asus laptop. The keyboard is also large and it has a desktop style layout, which I really like. And uh, this makes it very ergonomic to type. I like its broader space bar, the isolated arrow key and the large gaps between the function key. So this round, it's a close one because both laptops, I think they offer good keyboard, but I have a personal preference towards the keyboard, which Asus Stuff Laptop is offering. So I'm going to award this round to Asus Tough Laptop. With this win, Asus narrows the gap, but it still trails MSI. So the score after round eight reads 3-2 in favor of MSI. Okay, now we are in round nine. Let's take a closer look at the port situation. So Asus Tough Laptop, it has no USB Type-C port and it also doesn't have any Thunderbolt port. You do get the old school USB ports, you get HDMI, Ethernet port, and you get a headphone jack. There is also no SD card slot, which is really a bummer because, uh, you know, if you want, if you are a photographer or if you make videos, then SD card slot is really important. Unfortunately, it's not there. Now, MSI GF63, it also lacks SD card slot and it also lacks Thunderbolt port. So that sucks, but it does have the USB Type-C port and it has all the other ports which the Asus laptop has. I will give this round to MSI GF63 because it has USB Type-C port which is missing in ASUS Tough Laptop and guys this is 2020 so you know there is no excuse for not having a USB Type-C port in the laptop. So with this victory MSI stretches its lead to 4-2 after round 9. Okay guys so this is the 10th and the final round and it's all about the price. The price has gotta be right. At the time of making this video, Asus Tough Gaming Laptop, it was selling for $650. MSI GF63 on the other hand, it was selling for about $750. So what are you getting for those extra $100? You get a faster Intel processor, you get better battery life, you get double the SSD storage, and you get the USB Type-C port. But Asus Tough Laptop, it gives you a better display with 120 Hertz refresh rate. So I think this round, has to go to asus you are getting a lot of laptop for 650 dollars so guys that means after 10 rounds msi manages to win this battle the battle of gaming laptop with a final score of 4-3 so which laptop should you buy i think the answer to this question it will come down to your preference now if you love the 120 hertz refresh rate and the goodness it brings you know when you play games and you don't care about the battery life and you want to save 100 dollars then my recommendation is go with Asus Stuff Laptop. On the other hand, if you want a faster CPU, you want a really sleek build quality, you want better battery life, you want more ports including, you know, the USB Type-C port, then go with MSI GF63. So what do you guys think? Which one of these two laptops would you prefer? Please let me know in the comment section below and uh, please explain why you think one laptop is, you know, better over the other laptop. So guys, I hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below and I will try to help you guys. Please like this video and subscribe to Technopanda for more videos like this. Also check out technopandareviews.com for more reviews focusing on laptops, gaming PCs, gaming laptops, you know, TVs, monitors and other gadgets. Again guys, thanks for watching this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.